with a little bit of interest and a lot of time compound interest can help grow a portfolio significantly compound interest is reinvesting earned interest back into principal of an investment as you reinvest your interest on top of your investments your investments can grow exponentially over time this idea can be a little abstract so let's look at the hypothetical scenario to better understand the potential power of compound interest Suppose there are two investors who have a starting balance of rupees 10000 each they both decide to buy the exact same investment on the same date and they both plan to hold this investment for the next 30 years but one investor plans to withdraw the interest at the end of each year while the other investor plans to reinvest this interest and let it compound let's fast forward 30 years to see the difference in potential returns in this example Let's suppose the investment earned is 7% per year. The investor withdrawing interest every year would have earned 700 rupees per year. And over 30 years, the earnings would be total to 21000 rupees. But let's see how much of a difference reinvesting the interest could have made. The investor who reinvested the interest would possibly have earned 76123 rupees. This is more than triple the returns of the other investor. This example illustrates the power of compound interest. Now let's take it to another level and discuss the importance of time. Compounding over a long period of time can potentially lead to significant growth of an investment. Let's look at another hypothetical example to understand how important time is to compounding. Suppose Two investors have portfolios worth rupees 1 lakh each. Let's assume with compounding that their portfolios grow 7% per year. One investor needs the money to retire in 15 years, while the other needs the money to retire in 30 years. Let's see what difference 15 years can make. At the end of 15 years, the investor's portfolio would have gone up to 5 lakhs 27,193 rupees. Now let's see what the other investor would have earned. As you can see, the additional 15 years of compounding resulted in his portfolio growing in 17 lakhs 5,833 rupees. That's over three times the return of the other investor. Now that you understand how time can impact growth, let's discuss three ways on how to harness the power of compounding. The first step. and perhaps one of the most important is to start investing early the earlier you start the sooner you can start taking advantage of time the next is reinvesting earnings when it comes to investing earnings typically in the form of capital gains and dividends some brokers may allow you to automatically reinvest these earnings or you may choose to simply buy different investments The final step is to avoid one of the biggest obstacles that many investors face that is taking risks that can lead to large losses. After all, compounding only works if you are earning on your investment. Of course, always earning a profit is easier said than done because investments sometimes make money and other times loses money. You can't guarantee your investment will make money, but you can avoid taking excessive risks that may lead to large losses. measures such as allocating a portfolio across different asset classes and diversifying your portfolio with each asset class can also help reduce some of the risk in your portfolio however asset allocation and diversification does not eliminate the risk of loss to potentially help avoid large losses resist the temptation of taking excessive risk or not taking any risks and staying on the sidelines because when it comes to compound interest slow and steady can be a highly effective approach hope you guys enjoyed this video on compounding interest if you guys are looking to learn on risk and investments do join havenspire today